What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. Today, I've got a really simple solution for you if you're currently struggling with this issue like I was. I wasted a full six hours or so trying to troubleshoot this problem, which has an incredibly simple answer that you can completely sidestep all of the troubleshooting that you need to do if you choose to follow the method. What exactly is the issue that I'm talking about? Well, if I fire up command prompt over here on a brand new fresh Windows sandbox virtual machine with absolutely nothing on it but Node.js installed, let's see what the error is. I'll go ahead and type in npm install space followed by say node hyphen sass. I'll hit enter and I'll wait for the installation to get to the part where it crashes out inexplicably. Now note that I did go through the full node.js installation, had all of the boxes checked, and of course everything is installed that could have been installed by it, including chocolatey and all of that stuff. So there's absolutely no reason that this shouldn't work, but it doesn't. Yes, while there are steps I can take to try and troubleshoot this, I did that for over six hours on my main computer until I eventually got something working. Hence, I'm showing you here on the sandbox. Now, of course, it does usually get stuck at places like this, and it can take an incredibly long time to get past wherever it is stuck. Whenever it seems to get stuck at these places, it's either installing Python or Windows build tools to build whatever requirements it needs to actually work. So, of course, this can take a long time, especially the first time around. And, uh, of course, when I come to record the video, it works uh, right off the bat. Okay, anyway, let's just assume that you got an error code, such as the one on screen. What can we do to try and fix it? Well, of course, I'm not exactly sure what fixed it here, but what fixed it for me and sidestepped all of the troubleshooting I had to do earlier was simply downloading not the latest, but the long-term support version of Node.js. So if you're currently having issues where it talks about MS build not being able to be found, and of course you've gone through everything to make sure that it works, the simplest thing that you can do is uninstall Node.js and go away from the latest version, which is currently 16, and head back to the long-term support 14. And once it's uninstalled completely, you can of course choose to uninstall Python as well if you wanted to, but simply head across to the latest Node.js download page, which of course will be linked in the description down below. And instead of downloading the current version, click the LTS version, the long-term support version, and download the one that matches your computer. Then all you have to do is follow through with the installation as you usually would. And when you're prompted to install Chocolatey, make sure that it's checked. So I'll go ahead and show you now. Next, I agree, next, next. And then over here, make sure that Chocolatey is checked. We'll go through the installation and eventually it should be able to open up. There we go. Now it's gonna go ahead and install all of the dependencies Windows PowerShell over here, which of course will take some more time. And once it's done, type in enter, and I'll go ahead and open up command prompt once again. Now, of course, assuming it didn't work the first time, like it did magically here, which is immeasurably aggravating, knowing that it didn't work for six hours straight, I was simply able to type in npm install node hyphen sass and hit enter. Then it just simply downloaded and installed without any errors, which I've hopefully put on screen so you understand what I went through and what I was staring at for a solid six hours. And then it just simply worked like that. It ended with no vulnerabilities. And of course I was able to use it, code with it and whatever it is usual. All that it took me to do was to switch away from the latest version to the long-term support version and things just worked off the bat. Everything was installed for me, Python, Windows build tools, etc., etc. Now, assuming that it doesn't work for you and you're getting that MS build error, what exactly does it mean? Well, of course, if you don't decide to go with the easy method of trying the other one, of trying the other version of Node that you currently aren't using, i.e. if you're using LTS, use the current one, and if you're using the current one, use the LTS instead. If for some reason that you decide that you want to still debug it, then of course I do wish you luck as I wasn't able to get anywhere within six hours. Though somewhere that I did get is making sure that build tools was properly installed and pointed to. So of course the one command that I was suggested was npm install hyphen hyphen production windows build tools as such. And of course I did read from other places that setting this to the 2015 version, 2013 version, etc., etc., would have worked for me. But the really simplest option was just reinstalling and changing the branch of node that I was on. I downloaded the latest version, expecting the best results, but that's not what I got. If you know a better solution, please do let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if this worked for you and saved your backside, let me know too. It's not exactly the best solution as it doesn't really solve the problem, it more just avoids the problem. But if I had known this this morning, I wouldn't have skipped out on an entire day of work that I could have done because of it not working properly. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching 
My name's been Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.